Okay, so more T-Rex plugins, and this is the EQP1A, which is an emulation of the classic old Pultec EQP1A passive equaliser from ye olden days. These first came out about 1951, and this is a wonderful um, equaliser, but a bit odd, right? Uh, down here at the bottom, these three controls is a low shelf. You choose your frequency, 20, 30, 60, or 100 hertz, and you do a low shelf boost, or a low shelf cut with the attenuate control. Okay. Then these three controls here is a single peak band, which can only boost. You choose your frequency, 3, 4, 5, 8, 10, 12, or 16K, and boost as much as you want. And this is the Q or the width of that boost, very tight or wide. And then finally, these two controls here, this is a high shelf, but it can only cut at 20K, 10K or 5K. Turn this up, you're doing a high shelf cut more and more and more at the selected frequency. Um, at 5K, the shelf is um, not super steep it gets a bit steeper at 10k and at 20k steeper still so this can only cut it's a high shelf that can only cut so it's kind of like a low pass like a high cut but it's got a shelving curve so with this equalizer you very much tune things okay now just back to the bottom end shelf here i've got a kick drum going through this right There it is. So I can choose 100 hertz and do a low shelf cut at 100 hertz. Right, or 60 hertz. And I'm getting, I'm getting what I expect. I'm getting a low shelf cut at the selected frequency. 30 hertz. 20 hertz. Come on. Or I can do the boost, low shelf boost at 20 hertz. Higher up at 30. Or at 60. Or at 100. Right? But there's a trick that this bottom end shelf does. You can boost and cut at the selected shelf frequency at the same time. So I'm going to go with a very deep 30 hertz, very deep real bottom end of the kick drum and boost it. And I'm going to cut as well. So I'm boosting and cutting with the low shelf at 30 hertz. which creates this wonderful tight, deep 30 hertz thud, or 60 if I'm working at 60 or 20 or 100, whatever. When you boost and cut with the low shelf, it doesn't cancel each other out. When you cut with the low shelf as well as boosting, the cut control carves out a dip above the boost frequency. So I'm boosting and cutting at 30 hertz, and in effect I'm doing this curve like that. Right. There's my 30 hertz low shelf boost. Now, when I bring in that low shelf cut at the same frequency, it's not. Whoops. It's not turning down and cancelling out the boost because I'm boosting and cutting that shelf at the same frequency at the same time. So it doesn't cancel out. When I do the low shelf cut at the same time as this boost, what it's doing is it's carving out a dip like that in front of the shelf, right? focusing on that selected shelf boost frequency. So at 30 hertz, this is basically turning down and down and down and down, more of the body, it's carving out a dip above the selected frequency I'm boosting. Okay, and that gives me this super tight, deep bass drum because I'm carving out with the attenuate, I'm carving out a big dip in the bass and low mids above 30 hertz where I'm boosting. 
Okay, and then with the peak band here, I'll give it some 8K top at about average width. And listen to that kick drum. A phenomenal deep thud. It, it's, it's, it's fantastic, this thing. Let's go to this other thing here. I've got um, I've got an acoustic here, All right? Let's reset. Now again, I can use the uh, the low shelf to cut at 100 hertz. You know, to take the bottom end out and thin it out. right down at 30 which won't do much because there's very little frequencies in that acoustic guitar down at 30 but, you, know, you can still hear it doing something right okay or I can boost at 100 Hertz rounded up a bass down at 60 which is pretty deep for an acoustic or really deep at 30 Hertz which is boosting the real real bottom end of that acoustic very subtle But now if I choose like 60 hertz, which is, you know, the real bottom end of the acoustic, and give it some boost. Now what I'm doing there is I'm doing some 60 hertz. Low shelf like that, giving it some nice boost. All right, but if I then start to attenuate with the low shelf, cut with the low shelf as well, then what I'm doing is I'm then carving out a mid-range dip like that above that boost. So this is kind of the body of the acoustic. As I cut, I'm turning down the body above the bottom end boost more and more and more and more. Like this. And that focuses more on this bottom end 60 hertz. Lower this and that dip above the 60 hertz boost is coming back up, bringing in more low mid, very low mid body. Oh, that is so lush. Right, and then I'm going to go for some, let's go for some 4K boost, really tight, full boost. All right, so 4K. Very tight bandwidth, and listen how peaky it is. That's almost resonating. It's really, really a tight, peaky bump. Lots of boost I'm giving it, a huge amount. Really tight, peaky boost like that. And if I then get the high shelf and cut just above this 4k very tight boost it's going to carve out a high shelf cut just above the 4k peaky boost and if I put it at full bore like that it's starting to cause the 4k narrow peak to you can hear it ringing it's starting to whistle and resonate Because what I'm doing there then is there, um, there's my very tight 4K boost, but then I'm bringing in this 5K high shelf cut, which is making a cliff face falling off that 4K peak, and it becomes like a resonant filter, you know, the, on the cutoff of um, like the cutoff filter of a synth, right? At the at the peak, it cuts with this big boosted peak at the cut as it dips down with that high cut shelf. Yeah. 
So rather like at the bottom end, this tunes out the low mids or bass above the selected boosted shell frequency. This tunes out the free higher frequencies at the top end. So if I go with a wider cue, that's something nice and gentle like 8K, and this will be super upper end of the acoustic. <laughs> really beautiful harmonically rich sparkle there All right no no high shelf attenuation you can hear the wonderful richness of that quite wide top end 8k boost But then, if I bring in this high shelf cut at 10k above the 8k boost I've got, this is acting as a dampener to turn down the upper frequencies at 10k and above. It's damn clever, this thing. 5k boost, broader. Five K shelf cut. So I'm boosting at 5k with quite a wide cue, cutting with the high shelf at 5k, and that has the effect of just you know, because I'm boosting quite wide at 5k with this wide peak. So cutting with the shelf at 5k is just turning down the frequencies above the centre frequency of 5k, just softening it off at the top. Yeah, this is just fantastic. It's such a beautiful equaliser, but you very much tune with it, right? That is the EQP 1A.